make sure to thumbs up this video if you're listening click the thumbs up or the thumbs down doesn't matter i need you to rate this video make sure you click it thumbs up or thumbs down oh by the way if you want to get yourself blocked off of my channel and never comment again make sure you post a comment telling me that this is old news and i'll block you okay but anyways so media takeout posted this article on valentine's day i never gave my opinion on it it was posted February 14th of 2019. It was titled, Natalie Nunn Joins Love and Hip Hop Fights During First Scene. Now, for the record, I told y'all years, I think it was like a couple years ago, that Natalie Nunn was going to be on Love and Hip Hop, and people thought that I was lying. Well, I guess you know now it's true, huh? Don't you? But anyway, so here's what Media Takeout wrote. Natalie Nunn from the Bad Girls Club has officially joined the cast of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Media Takeout News can confirm. You know, if it comes to Media Takeout, you know it's the truth. And Natalie is already causing a stir. According to a staff member close to Natalie, she got into a fist fight on camera during her very first scene. The insider explained, quote, Natalie got into it with Monice and she two-pieced her. Pause the story right there. We all know good and damn well if Natalie Nunn two-pieced Monice, they must have had some chicken. All right, because there ain't no way that Natalie Nunn just beat up my Momo. So th th let's cut that out right now. The insider explained, quote, Natalie got into it with Monice and she two-pieced her, end quote. When we asked for, for clarification, the friend added, quote, yes, a two-piece left punch, then right. Both landed on that B-word's head. Natalie is best known for being a castmate on the fourth season of the Bad Girls Club in 2009 going into 2010. She subsequently appeared on Bad Girls Club season 13 as well as what here battle spectacular. What the hell is that? Anyways, she was also a contestant on the second season of Love Games, Bad Girls <laughs> Me Love 2. I never heard of any of this stuff. Natalie also participated on the first season of Bad Girls All-Star Battle. I didn't even, what? I never, never heard of that. Anyway, during her time on Bad Girls Club, Natalie made a name for herself by having a very slick mouth. She was also quick to put hands on any of her housemates that she had an issue with. Looks like she hasn't changed much. Here's Natalie bragging last week about being signed to Love and Hip Hop, and then they post a couple of videos. Motherfucking heels, do not come showing up thinking this is a motherfucking set, bitch. Nah, ho. Come with your laces not secure. Bitch! <laughs> Say that one more time. Don't come with your laces not secure. <laughs> My nigga, I'm tired of these hoes. Tired of these bitches. That's why I don't even live in there. I don't even live in the city no more. I said, this is too fake for me. I gotta go back home to the bay, nigga. Yee! I had to get out of there. Period. I said, this shit is fucking fake as fuck. Bitches motherfucking motive. There are lines that they say, I'm gonna fake it till I make it. Any bitch who looks me in my eyes and tells me I'm finna fake it till I make it, I'm gonna act like I get a bag. <laughs> that funny. No, this, on my mama, this is what they said. I'm gonna fake it till I make it. You a fake ass bitch. I'm gonna fake it till I make it. Now, what about bitch I ain't got? Music. What? <laughs> Hollywood ass bitches talking about I'm gonna fake it till I make it. I can, I listen. You gotta pay me to talk about it, but I'm gonna talk about it on the show. My manager's sitting here, he made the call, I made the tweet, bitch knows, she in my DMs. Mona, you in my DMs right now, you said what's up, I'm telling you what's up. Fake it till they make it, bitch, I got lines for these bitches for days. These hoes that you've been booking? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Reloaded. I let them live for a few seasons. I don't have to buy any drinks anymore. <laughs> Mama gonna be like, Mama gonna be like, thank God Natalie showed up. I don't have to pay for these bitches' wigs no more. <laughs> Mama gonna be like, thank God Natalie here. I ain't gotta buy these hoes drinks no more. Honey, I buy my own shit, bitch. Go fuck out of here, bum ass hoes. Bum ass hoes. Sleeping on niggas' couches. Natalie dated. Olamide Faison from 2003 to 2019. She was also romantically involved with many celebrities, including Wiz Khalifa, Chris Light Brown, and Rihanna's younger brother, Rory Fenty, in 2011. Nunn and Arizona Rattlers football player Jacob Payne announced their engagement in April 2012. They were officially married in May of 2012, and the marriage was aired on two episodes of Bridezilla's 
on October 28th and November 4th of 2012. None revealed on November 12th of 2014 that the couple were expecting their first child. In February 2015, she revealed that she had had a miscarriage. In late 2016, she announced that she was pregnant again. On April 26th of 2017, she gave birth to a healthy baby girl named Journey Ruth Payne. That's the end of the article, or should I say farticle, because it's full of shit down to the last particle. There ain't no way that anybody whoop my momos behind. Listen, here's what happened. Her and Monice got into a wrestling match, and then they started licking cootie cats, and now they're best friends. No, that, that's not what happened. Okay, that was just what happened in my head. The point is this, though. Nobody beat up anybody. And you might say, well, me, of course, you're going to take Monisa's side because that, that's your Momo. Well, listen, I, I like Natalie Nunn. I didn't see her on the Bad Girls Club. I just know her from social media. You know, I, I just know that she's a, a fly, light-skinned chick with a big booty. And she you all know what I like. And she's friends with Lyrica Anderson, one of my favorite people in the world. So, actually, they're best friends. Excuse me. That's her best friend. Yeah. Like, like they'll be, like, singing that song while the other one's twerking in the background like they're butt cheek tight so anyways the point is this man Natalie Nunn is Lyrica Anderson's best friend and she's my booski I love what she be doing on social media I, I uh, watched her workout videos plenty of times and, and I was thoroughly impressed so shout out to Natalie Nunn. I'm definitely a fan of the buns. I mean, I'm definitely a, a fan of Natalie Nunn. And uh, shout out to my baby Monice. You know, I, I don't like anybody messing with Mo. Uh, you know, I, I and I, I hope that, this, that 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 there was no sort of physical contact. Hopefully, what happened was they just got to a little argument, a little disagreement, which is which is interesting because she is friends with best friends, excuse me, with Lyrica, Natalie, that is, and. Monice and Lyrica, if I'm not mistaken, had a little bit of an issue in the past, but they're cool now, as far as I know. So, man, you know, I listen, man, I'm team pretty for life, and I need my pretty girls to be on each other's side. I really need that for 2019. But anyways, y'all, let me know what you think about it all below. Me Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and MeWe. Me Magazine blog on Instagram, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. Let me know what you think about my cutie pies, Natalie, Monice. Share this video on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, two cans with the string in the middle telepathically. That way everybody in their mama too knows it's MILF versus MILF out here, allegedly, which is shameful. And what do you guys think that they were, were fighting over? It's definitely not a man, unless it's a man that they both dealt with in the past. Because if you think about it, you know, Monique likes women <laughs> and Natalie Nunn is married. So I, I highly doubt it was about a man like what type of issue could they have with each other? I, I don't really understand. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about it below. <gasps> me Magazine.